So we're going to do a very simple retrograde. So I'm going to go to on my TV screen and I'm going to choose strings this time and I'm going to choose scales and I'm going to make sure it's set to major pentatonic and you can choose which instrument you want. I'm going to go for violin because it's a little bit higher. So there we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a very simple pattern, literally, that is one note per beat. OK, so let's go one, two, three, four, or... I think I prefer that one. So... OK, so we haven't added a pattern in, so let's do that now. So, add. We only want one bar. Go back. This is our M now, so let's record. And I mess that up, so let's do it again. So that's it, okay? Now, really simple, we're just gonna do that backwards. So we went up, so I'm now gonna go down. Simple retrograde. If you fancy being more dra dramatic than that, then go for it. But I'm going to stick to simple for the sakes of this illustration. So I do need to create another one. Add. Needs to be down to one bar. Okay. And then I'm going to just go straight for it. So now we have our two patterns. So let's go to the arrangement view, the brick wall. And let's go plus, and we want to look at all sections. There we go. So, now, I seem to have got several different things there. So, that one here. So, let's just move that to there and listen to them. So, I can get rid of that one it's the same so that's our motif one way that's our motif another way so that's our retrograde okay and you can see them there so we have now note addition note subtraction fragmentation metamorphosis or transformation we have a motif with an augmentation and a diminution and we have a pattern which we have retrograded. Okay, so now we have our basic patterns.